Hello everybody, welcome back to part 10 of the council. Last time we attended a conference and we chose to side with Sir Holm. Now, um, I did notice my camera is apparently flickering. I hope it's the screen on the camera itself and not the recording. Because epilepsy for people. Now, I was going to convince Washington. Uh, I think I could get stuff from what you. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, service day, day and, and night, night, sir. All the service. Uh, where is Would Washington? Would you happen to know where I could find Monsieur Washington? Sorry, sir, I haven't the foggiest. Perhaps, sir, I to try in President Washington's room? Yeah, that's just what pretty can logical, I do but for you, that's sir? not the menu I want. I am at your service, day My and chair night, is rolling by itself. I was wondering if you As I was out. unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Um... Devil Thorn. Ah, oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any Devil's Thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the Devil's Thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. Ah, it costs me three. I don't want to pay three for that. I don't want to pay three. No, not doing that. Uh, let's see, up there. Um, don't think this is supposed to be here. Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door's ajar. Time to investigate. Yeah, this game has a lot of loading screens, but I don't think they take too long, so that's an advantage. Um, yeah, so I need to go to Washington. But okay, so he's standing outside, so there wasn't a fight. He must have just been angry about something. That's a painting. Checking for books first. You never know. Oh, amber. Amber crystals. You can see the difference between amber and an uh, item because amber is way more orange. Okay. So, my dear little Eleanor, um, I think I read this before. Your ever proud father, so he has a daughter. If there's one thing I learned, don't mention people's kids when they're angry at you. I learned that from another game, another story based game, so. Always be careful with those kinds of decisions. I got shot in that one. Luckily I was pretty much an immortal at that point, so... That was in my second playthrough though. First time I was smart enough not to tell him. Leave me, Dorise. I don't feel like talking. Uh, stay and keep quiet. Are you gonna keep sticking to me like glue? Hell's bells, I don't deserve this. There's Playing nothing mind games you can with do him. for me. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Not anymore, you can't. Not against him. But thanks for the offer. Who are you talking about? You know very well. Lord Mortimer? You talk as if you're in danger, monsieur. Has he threatened you in any way? I'm done for, monsieur de Richet. I played with the devil, and I lost. Yeah, he's weak to psychology, don't so why not? Don't you think it would be good for you to shed your burden? That is my intention. You're worried. You have a secret. You're afraid of talking about it. Afraid for others. You're protecting someone who is dear to you. No, don't. Apparently, you're prepared to die for that person. Twice over. Are you afraid for Damn your it. daughter? What are you? Just be asking me if he's afraid about say. someone else being be hurt, not mentioning the daughter you don't herself. want to go flying off the balcony! What do you know about her? Nothing apart from the fact that you love her and you're saying goodbye to her. I read your letter on your desk. I... I ought to get rid of you. Perhaps I can help you. 
The hero syndrome. You always think you can fix things. She will be safer far away from me. That's it. What's more, no one must find out where or who she is. Is that clear? Perfectly. But why say goodbye to her? She must still need you. The only thing she needs is for him never to find her. Time is short, Louis. Follow my advice. Find your mother if she's still alive, and get out of here. Flee this damned island of doom. Are we in danger? You've been in danger since the minute you set foot on this rock. He wants you. He's sizing you up. He is circling around you. It's blindingly obvious. And you, flattered as you are, will soon be running around for him just to keep your place among his precious few. I don't care so about that. Good to be accepted by him. You will experience power, wealth, glory. He will give it all to you until one day you will feel so eaten up inside that you will no longer know who you are. Oh, sorry. You will find yourself void of all conscience, of all freedom. You can no longer look at yourself in the mirror without feeling sick. Refuse, I tell you. From now on, say no. No! Say Look, no! I'm sorry about what happened no. on the night you arrived. You're a good man, Louis. It's like you he's talking to a yourself. dog. As for me, I shall take back my freedom tomorrow morning. I'm through with it all. There you go. Back in the saddle. I'm glad to hear it. Come on. It's late. I'd like to get some rest. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. No. Bad dog. No. <laughs> That's how it felt. I'm getting pissed at Louis because I, I wanted him to mention that he... To prove that I'm... That the character is smart. Um, that he's afraid to lose someone else. Without mentioning it being the daughter. And you saw what happened. He was threatening to throw me off of the balcony. So, yeah. That's why I don't mention people's kids when they're pissed. Uh, what time is it? Oof, should go eat something. Gonna do that after this part. But yeah, these things are freaking huge. And I said freaking, so... Whose room is this? Uh, ooh. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah, he's not gonna wanna talk to me. Emily? This is Emily's That's room. Emily yeah. Hillsborough. Uh, I can't enter. Duke Manuel Godoy. Well, I did take his side, so maybe he'll have something important to say if he's home. Home. <sighs> ooh, ooh, damn it. It's 32 degrees outside. That's how hot it is, and I can't record with the window open because the cars that pass by drive like 90 kilometers an hour, even though they're not allowed to go that fast. So I'm pretty much burning up here. Give me a little reprieve. Carmelite water. Prometheus, punished for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to man. The screen was very dark there. I'm looking for ma manuscripts. That was the word I was looking for. I'm looking for manuscripts so that I have some to equip later on. Golden elixir. Don't think I've been in this room yet, so explore everything. That's a painting. Noblesse, noblesse of the sword. Um. Oh, that's a new book. Noblesse of the sword, agility. Okay, agility, agility, whatever. Nothing here. There's something up there. A devil's thorn. To be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Point. Something was sparkly. Yeah. So if you see something uh, sparkly, like uh, a shiny Pokemon, the sparkles around it, then it's most likely a coin. Which was not the case in the first part, I think. 
Mary Louise of Parma. Well, the sound got <laughs> messed up. How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Notice hmm. something? It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. Of course, it's written in Spanish. It, it reeks of lavender. But well, I have linguistics. well, Monsieur Godoy, you seem very interested in hiding this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to... Wow, four? Okay, I'm not gonna... I have five of them. I'm gonna use one. I, th I thought I would... Uh, I was about to say I'm not gonna use one, but I have five of them, so... so. Let's see what it says. My dear tender Pepita, no, my tender Pepita, I feel so guilty at being so far away from you again, even if it's for the good of my country. I feel awful at having to leave you after a silly little spat, because you are the only woman I love, Josefa, forever. I told you before, everything I have, everything I can offer you, I owe to the affection of the Queen. Let's stay united, please, even in sacrifice for the two of us, for our future children. Stop being jealous. You are the only one who fills my thoughts. Everything else is just a game, I swear. So he's sleeping with the queen to get money and support another woman he loves? You Spanish gigolo. Or noble gigolo. I forgot what Wolner called him. It seems called the him. queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. If the queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Yeah, this probably was something if I chose uh, Mortimer's side to persuade Godoy. That was a glitchy. Okay, moving on. So if I remember correctly about the layout, this is my room, this is Piaggi's room. I can't enter that. That's a door that doesn't budge. Seriously, you can't even get a notification that you're not allowed to go in there. And Washington's room was somewhere here, I think. Is this Washington? President George yeah. Washington. I'm gonna explore the rest a little first. This was Elizabeth's room, I think. The layout of a place that I will remember. And I think I came up from here. No, wait. Didn't come up from here. Came up from also somewhere else. Johann von Wolner. Wolner. He's still awake, hopefully. I'm trying to talk with as many people as I can right now. Because I finally have free, free reign again. So. Yeah. I swear it's so damn hot. Okay, so he's not here. That's a book. Oh, I saw a blue bubble. Oh, there was something up there. Reach. Kind of light water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. And I instantly got back the one I used earlier. Hortus Delicarum. Ah, books. Erudition. How much do I have in erudition? Um, oh. Missing four. Yeah, but I haven't actually needed to use it. So for the people who haven't played the game yet, you, yet you probably want to do erudition last. I'm not, did I read that before? I think I did. Gary H, yeah, probably. I'm so glad you are coming. I cannot. I did not doubt for a single minute that you would accept the invitation, despite the risk involved. We have gotten over many obstacles together. Blah blah blah. Yeah, no, it's the invitation. Okay. Nothing useful here, and that thing looks weird. What the hell is that? I have no clue what this is. Huh. 
Well, let's move on. Nothing else here. Seriously, I've seen some pretty weird items in this place. This was a storage room. Oh. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Yeah. I have a feeling they added more items. Well, more, uh, and then I'm back here. That they added more random items where you can find them. Can I go upstairs? Nope. Okay. Whatever. So, back to Washington. La di da di da. Yeah, no, I like the game, but it has a lot of glitches in it. The I have had the one in episode two, not part two, no, mind you. In episode two, where um, there was this little blue bubble, and when you press X to activate it, you come in, you get inside the room, and everybody, everybody's model, character model is there, and some are, yeah, some you can face through, and others are hard objects with a hitbox and there was a weird mixture of Elizabeth and uh, P.I. no not Elizabeth Emily and P.I.G. Bubbles Inspector's Journal Questioning Reach Devil's Thorn Oh I'll keep it Already reached it once before Excuse me there's something wrong with his voice there. Oh boy. Okay, chest. Usually contains loot. I don't have a small key. Pick the lock, it only costs me one. And I have pretty much full items. Yeah, everything is full, so. The president's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Ah, there's also a letter. So in my other playthrough that I did in my spare time, I chose not to go with Emily, but go with Elizabeth. And she was taking a lot of laudanum. So, dear Mr. President, I am returning my answer as quickly as I can. We already spoke about it before you left, but I note that things have not improved. I urge you to follow my advice and to stop taking laudanum immediately. Okay, so he's taking laudanum as well. I am already looking for a substitute, but I am afraid you won't wait. Your excessive consummation is in danger of defini definitively impairing your chances of securing your next mandate. Your addiction is jeopardizing the exercise of your office and duties, my friend. I regret I see no other solution but to stop your daily intake. Your sincerely, Dr. W. Thompson. Thompson. So he was the one taking it. And I get an ember fragment. Nice. So yeah, Washington is a drug addict. That's pretty much what it boils down to. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I think I've already heard I that. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. So I wonder why that one is... Uh used with the voice instead of just written down like all the rest I am guessing that this was his key <laughs> Whoops. impatient me is kinda screwing me over there but again it only costs me one so it's not gonna come down it's not gonna come down to that last one and if it does you'll see me referring to this so, I don't know where he is. And that's a cutscene, so I'm guessing he's... Really? Yeah. But what are you doing in my room? Oh, great, confrontation. Um... 
Yoink. Pretend you heard a burglar. Nope. Tell him you got the wrong room. Nope. Be direct. Maybe. Flatter him. May I, like I wanted to have a word with you, but just also between ourselves. Remove that. Here, the walls have ears. Yeah. You're right. Caution is the mother of safety. Well, since you're here, can I get you something to drink? No, no, no thank you, Mr. Yeah. President. As I'm not taking wish. drinks from someone who is. Uh, well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not side. my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice. What can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So, what can I do for you? <laughs> you are a laughing stock. Yeah, I see why he's immune to that. Lie. Speak about the plan. Plans go against him. Sai is going to lose. I'm gonna lie. Mr. President, I like Lord using Mortimer psychology. treats you purely and simply like the least of his pawns. He gives you no explanation and then commits you to a project from which you have nothing to gain. But you know that more than I do. Is that what siding with Mortimer is all about? I must confess that I don't entirely understand William lately. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? <laughs> you owe me one. Yeah, that's probably the one where you have to uh, keep Elizabeth busy. Out of duty for my mother. Shake his faith. Blackmail him. I'm gonna shake his faith. This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's haul a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune, let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins he or loses, you take everything's the fall. arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yeah. Yes, I... Ah, uh, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... you can trust him. Of course. I'll bet he's invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. He said yes, I, but the subtitle said no, I. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. They really need to fix stuff like that. Um, peace. Mortimer will probably promise peace as well. Promise him Louisiana. I can't promise that. Small fortune. He probably won't care. He's president of the United States. Keep what you already have. Mm, I don't know how he's going to work that. You would be able to win colonies. Maybe. Best interest of the American people. If he's anything like the real life Washington, he's going to go with this one. And I, again, because it's four. You are a man of conviction, Mr. President. I used the uh, You would never make water. a choice that could cost the American people very dearly. If Mortimer falls, he will bring the United States down with him. Haven't the American people suffered enough? I would never do anything that there would we put go. my people in danger. Exactly. Therefore, choose your allies wisely, sir. I must admit, there your go. arguments do make sense, Louis. Louis, you convinced me. I congratulate you for your performance, because I didn't think it could happen. Alliance Breaker. Plus one in politics convinced him during the conference. I merely exposed the facts to you. Pause Don't that for spoil everything because, sorry. with your false modesty now. You really were very good, and that's that. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, 
but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Yeah, but I don't want to go to my room yet. Even though I'm running towards my room, I don't want to go yet. I want to see if I can enter other rooms now. So Piaggi is a no. Maybe I have something downstairs. Because new items were up here, so... Duke Manuel Godoy. Already checked that. Emily. Nope. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so I was very rudely interrupted. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to cut it short in a little while. Um... Do I trust this or do I not? I, I have the feeling there is something else that I can do. So yeah, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Because it says go to bed. This is Washington's place. But I would like to see if there's anything downstairs as well. That's Elizabeth's room. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down. I hope I encounter another character so I can at least talk to them. So I'm in this room. So now that I'm running through these rooms again, I uh, notice that the loading screens have gotten longer again. That's just sitting down. Any books that I can take? Manuscripts? No. You never know. The Miller Brothers. Oh, that one. You expressly forbade me from reading it. Might be important later. Oh, something down here. Golden elixir. Okay. So I got something out of it. I swear, I'm sweating like crazy right now. Temperature only got higher while I was being inter when I well, while I was getting interrupted. I checked the thermometer outside. Thirty-five Celsius, for the record. As you may have guessed, I am not very good with heat, so yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing there's nothing else. Okay. <clears throat> so this is Peru's place, then that is Emily's, I think. All the way over here? Yeah, okay, so I shouldn't be too far from my room. No, my room is on the other side. Damn it! Oh no, here it is. Good. <sighs> For a second I thought it was just all the way on the other side. Okay. So I'm guessing my mom is gonna be in my room to talk to me about uh, the crypt. And how the conference went. 
it would be something that these kinds of games do. And then she'll probably ask me whose side I chose. That's the kind of scenarios that go on in my head while I'm playing a game like this. Which is usually why I win confrontations, I think, ahead. But not too far ahead, sadly. And that's a cutscene, though, so there's someone in my room. Good evening, Monsieur Definitely not my mother. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? I don't trust this. That's not She's what I said. Being awfully polite. Ah, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? She knew her sister was shot. Not that she disappeared. Well, it could be the game glitching again, though. You never know. No, I find it strange because she called me Monsieur le Français, while she usually calls me Louis every single time. And... There was something else. Sir. She has not called me Sir, unless there are other people around. Monsieur de Richet. Louis, are you alright? Louis, Louis. You'll see Louis. Louis, come join us. You see Louis. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Louis? Emily? All right, Louis. I might have overreacted a bit. Good night, Louis. Oh, Louis. Louis, we just met Louis. I place my trust in you, Louis. Oh, well spotted, Louis. Louis, we are both members of the Order, Louis. Oh, poor little Louis. I have to go, Louis. Well, Speak I should imagine Emma. you're still shaken. I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible. There's not much to shed light on. What your mother did is inexcusable. She won the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her. She didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. To go through all that again. Okay, this is an awkward kissing scene, seeing as the lips don't move at all. Come, Louis. But I'm getting my freak on, so. Uh, no, I don't trust this. I know she's dead, but this doesn't feel right. My friends. Do not worry. Something feels off. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the Must time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not busy so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, Already cracked him. he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry, Mr. President only wants one thing, to keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. 
Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! He knows. He knows that I can do this. You're not telling me that he didn't mean that to me. He was very aggressive in his uh, leave us now. Damn bastard knows. How does he... How does he know? Why does he know? No, not why does he know. Who does he know? Uh, Okay, my brain is having problems processing this with this heat. But so far, Emily is acting strange and she's busy. Instead of going with them, and Holm knows that it was someone that someone was spying through Godoy. Also, I wonder hey, what would have happened, what cutscene I would have gotten if I went Emily? with uh, Mortimer. Are you there? And each time I side with Holm... There she goes again. What's with this habit of hers of taking off in the middle of the night? Each time I side with Holm, he acts strange and like the bad guy, and each time I side with Mortimer, he acts suspicious and like a bad guy. So for some reason I feel like they're both the planning something. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Louis, that they're the both planning on. something. And I can't trust either of them. I, th I feel like they're uh, purposefully pushing us against each other. My friends, the conference is about to begin. And please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord With Mortimer. With his hand. Uh, we parted in perfect I don't think it was supposed to do that. My lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. <laughs> Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you, I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it, even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Excuse Emily me? was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My lord do this, and Madame do just that. You it's know lost very it. well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. 
I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer uh, work for you. Also, what I was thinking was, I'm gonna pause it. What I was thinking was, Emily was talking to Bonaparte, and I was suspicious about the Emily that was with me. If, if, if what I think is gonna happen is gonna happen, I'm screwed. Because I don't remember anything about the very first episode. So, Wait. I'm doomed. Derise, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! One chance. <laughs> I'm not gonna make him think of his child. He's gonna kill me. You don't remember a suicidal man of his kid. Or at least not in the game. Monsieur, He's weak to psychology, though. I know I don't though. really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things! You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time It would be hard to... If he committed murders. Um... Yeah, again, your daughter has nothing to fear. Not gonna do that. It's gonna be alright. Let's stand together. I'm gonna see if he's weak to logic. Etiquette psychology questioning. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> uh, the only thing I know is I can't go with your daughter and home. Because I don't trust Hull myself. Order, he's not gonna trust that because Washington is with was with Mortimer. Daughter, don't mention it. I think I'm gonna go with I'm sure it's we gonna can be alright. But you don't know him. Let's stay united, Jack. He's nothing without us. Really? Trust me. Vulnerable to etiquette. All this agitation isn't worthy this of is us. This is not who you are. You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward, so give me your weapon, please. But I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. Just activated three to items me. just don't for this. Don't worry, you're safe now, Jack. <sighs> okay. Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Oh, keep out of it. Your behavior is unacceptable. Because he was savior is after do this. better to go and rest in your apartment. There was a pause in what they were saying. Uh, so savior. Gain one skill point in psychology. The thing he's weak, uh, weak for. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Yeah, in these games, don't ever mention their kid, especially after how he reacted in the last one. You just don't. Don't. So success, finally the end of the first part of the episode. Success, I convinced George Washington to find out that, uh, I convinced George Washington. I found out that Jack Peru would do anything for his daughter. I saved Jack Peru. I slept with Lady Hillsborough. I chose to follow Sir Gregory Holm. I found out that Sir Gregory Holm and von Wollner have close ties. I reassured Sarah de Richet. I participated in the conference. So there was a way to not participate in the conference? <laughs> alternate, pa alternate paths. I could have followed Lord Mortimer and I could have found out a secret about Napoleon Bonaparte. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Do I level up? Yes, I level up. Barely. Okay, so what do I want? What do I have? Do I have any books? No, don't have any books, so... Oh, wrong one. This one? Diversion. Nope. Agility. Yes, I have one for those, so... Then I'm level 2 at that. And then I can go with... Something else. Doesn't even matter. I have two conviction, no, two questioning and one conviction. Questioning, conviction, 
level three. I'm gonna go with the brain. Yeah, I think this would be. Why did I go diversion? Um, there is a point in diversion that I didn't do myself. Wait, how many did I get? Remove all four points. Oh, I chose the book. Oh, so the diversion one was the book. So that and that. Okay, validate. Unfortunately, that's gonna be all for this part. If you guys liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. As always, it's been a pleasure, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!